Hello guys, today we are going to talk about uh, BOD. So normally BOD is nothing but biochemical oxygen demand. And BOD is, is going to tell you the amount of biodegradable matter in the water. Okay. So now BOD is directly proportional to the dissolved oxygen present in the water. And normally in our lab we do BOD using the BOD Oxitoc device. So you can see this is a BOD Oxitoc device. And this is it's working like as an incubator. So we have uh, different, uh, I mean like, the ranges for finding the BOD so you can see here normally for if it is from BOD is lying from 0 to 40 so 432 ml you have to use and the factor is 1 so for if the BOD is lying between 0 to 80 so it's 365 ml you have to take 2 so normally we prefer uh, this ratio 0 to 400 if it is lying between so we will be uh, preferring 164 ml and then the factor would be 10 okay now before uh, adding the water we have to make sure that our BOD bottle is uh, very well clean and this is our uh, sensor that is mounted at the top and then we have to put a rubber quiver here okay and we have to add uh, 164 ml of the water and then we have to also add nitri nitrification inhibition bacteria so that uh, if there is a nit nitrification, uh, any there is a bacteria available here, okay, so that this uh, any indicator would suppress that. So we are, all, I mean, like uh, interested in finding out the carbonaceous BOD, not the nitrogenous BOD, okay. So if we don't add this, we'll be getting the total BOD. If we add this, we will be just getting the carbonaceous BOD, okay. So what we have to do first of all, clean this and then add. 164 ml of the water so now you can see here i'm going to add 164 ml of the water so this is 50 ml then i would add another 50 ml So this is 100, then I will add again 50, this is around 150, and then I would add around 40. So make sure this is around 14, so this is 10, and this is around 14, so I am adding 40 ml of the water, so this is 164 ml of the water so now I would add to this 1 2 3 drops of nitrification inhibition bacteria sorry indicator I have to make sure that the water that we are using is a fresh water and it should have enough DO so that the whole process is sustainable Okay, and now for proper homogenization of the sample, we have to add a bead here. So I have added a bead here. Okay, now I'm going to put a rubber quiver here. On the rubber quiver, I'm going to add certain pellets of NaOH. So this NaOH pellet is added because there may be liberation of CO2 and there may be high pressure inside the BOD bottle. So to maintain the pressure and also the absorption of the CO2 onto the NaOH pellets. And also to win, okay. Now I'm adding certain pellets of NaOH. Two, three pellets. Now before starting the experiment, what we have to do, we have to first of all tighten this up, okay, and then if you see press here, S is for displaying the stored values, so there is no stored value, so F means uh, the experiment has started, okay, and there is no stored values, if, the, if when we press F, you see, at 2 there is F, so F means 
there is no stored values okay f means there is no stored values and we m is for the measured values so it's so before starting we have to press both of them make it zero okay so now it's zero so now this uh, machine is in any this whole bod bottle is initialized okay now we have to put this inside this is our beauty incubator okay this rod so normally this is used to place the bead in the center okay now we will be closing this so that there is no any kind of photosynthetic or other activities inside the, the beauty incubator now we'll switch on the machine from here okay so now you can see it started okay so now we have to wait for an, an, I mean like five days to get the BOD process done. So this BOD process is time consuming. It takes a lot of time. So tomorrow we can check our uh, first, day, first day BOD. Subsequently, it will display the second day BOD. So we will press S. So instead of one F, there would be a value. Two F, there would be another value. So we have to wait for five days. Okay. Now this is the fifth day BOD. So what we have to do, as I told you earlier, S is for stored values, M is for measured values. So before starting the analysis, we had, I mean like press S and M together. In this way, it was initialized. So now what I will do for seeing all the values, so I'll press this is for one day is one, two days one, okay, and three days one, and fourth day is one. So if f is appearing, it means uh, there is no stored value. So now, for, and now for similarly for fifth day, it says one. So let's now find out uh, the total. B, uh, I mean, like the BOD five. So BOD five is nothing but the factor. I hope you all remember this is a factor ten, and multiplied by the BOD five. So it will be one into ten. So the BOD of the this was the tap water. So the tap water BOD is around ten ppm or ten milligram per liter. Okay. Subsequently, if the water is polluted, it has a lot of, I mean, like the microbes or other, I mean, like uh, the, I mean, like the impurities, or I mean, like uh, the carbonaceous part or the nitrogenous part. In that case, the BOD will be higher. Also, we need to have a guess before doing the analysis. We need to have a guess about the, I mean, like the BOD ranges. So in this case, we guess the BOD is around zero to four hundred. So we chose 164 ml. Suppose we are choosing another volume. Suppose we are choosing 432. In that case, uh, the BOD5 would be uh, whatever BOD on the fifth day we got. We have to multiply it by the factor. Subscribe and like.